Hi everybody, today we're gonna do a real special project. It is in, to honor our moms for Mother's Day. So I hope you enjoy our project and make this project with a lot of love, patience, and show your mom how much you love her. Some supplies that we're gonna be needing for this beautiful Mother's Day card is, we're gonna be needing a three by 12 centimeter dark pink uh, bond paper or cardboard, it depends on you. We're gonna be needing also a 14 by five, 14 point five by six centimeters light pink bond paper or cardboard. We're gonna need also a 21.5 by 16.5 centimeters dark pink cardboard or bond paper. We're gonna also need a white cardboard that is 14.5 by 19 centimeters. We're gonna need a legal size. Uh, cardboard for our main card. Also, we're going to be needing an eraser, a thin uh, tip marker, a pencil, a, uh, some scissors. We're going to need a Q-tip. We're going to need glue. We're going to also need um, a dark pink, um, a dark and a light pink uh, tempera or acrylics. In my case, I don't have pink, so I'm gonna mix together red and white to create my own pink. And also, so we can mix our colors, we're gonna need a color palette, or if not, we can use um, any flat surface where we can mix our colors up. So, let's begin with our project. To begin with our project, what we will be needing is to fold our legal size cardboard over here, and what we're gonna do, so you can have it really nice and straight and not having any cracks over here, is uh, starting to bend and to press down your cardboard the right way. So you can see over here, I'm putting both of the edges together. They match, none of them are coming out. And I just go to the other side and press down a little bit right here, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. down. Once I have both of my sides with the pressing down, I'm going to just follow the line like this. And as you can see over here, you don't have any cracks on your cardboard and it's really straight and it has a nice um, bend on your cardboard. Okay, so now we have our main part of our Mother's Day card. Now what are we going to do next? I'm going to grab my my uh, dark pink cardboard or bond paper over here and I'm gonna get some glue and I'm gonna just put on the border of on the line right over here of my white cardboard okay so I'm just putting a little bit of glue here now if you guys have um, I don't know a little cardboard or something extra that you can use that's really helpful because you can see the, the uh, thick layer that I have for my glue, right? So if you have a regular cardboard, the only thing you have to really do is just put your cardboard over here and just slide your cardboard through. And you can see how you're putting all your glue evenly around your cardboard. Because if you don't do this, you're gonna have like um, wet spots on your, car and, and your other cardboard and it's just not gonna look nice. So you're spreading evenly all your glue around your card. Now I would recommend you guys that um, you wait a little bit until the, the glue dries a little bit. That way it doesn't wet your other paper on top. Just let it sit for a couple of seconds. Just like that. Let's wait, let's count until 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So as it's, the layer is really thin, the, the glue is gonna um, dry fast. So now what you can do is just put the edges together over here and connect your paper on the white cardboard like this. And press evenly throughout your your whole um, paper. That way, it doesn't um, there's not like 
little uh, bubbles in your card. There we go. So I'm pressing really hard and evening up all the paper. Okay. So once I have this, you can see from the outside it's red, but when you open it up, it's gonna be white. So inside you can actually draw or write, write whatever you want for your mom. Okay, so that's why I wanted it to have just this outside part red. Okay, so now that we have our first layer on top, let's put our second one in. Okay, so we're gonna use this white one and we're gonna do the same thing, but we're just gonna put the glue on this white cardboard. little cardboard over here, the little piece of it we had, and just spread the glue around. when you're putting this white one on top, you have to figure out a way that it'll be even. So you can see that it will be right in the middle. And be careful if for no glue to be on top of your white cardboard because then it gets messy. like a little frame on our card like this now what we are gonna do is we're gonna start cutting some hearts we have this uh, light pink in which we're gonna divide in three equal pieces like this scissors and I'm going to cut this down like this. Now, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to fold my paper right in the middle like this. Just like that. And now with my pencil, I'm going to draw. Let me zoom this in a little bit. There we go. Okay, so with my pencil, I'm going to draw half of a heart. Okay. So when I open my, my paper, it should look like this. Half of my paper is empty and the other part of my heart is right over here. So when I bend and I fold my paper, it should look like, look like this. Now I'm going to grab my scissors and Trace. So I have three 
three same hearts, same size and same figure and everything. I have one over here. And I have my other one. One, two, three hearts. I have, you can see the size over here. One, two, and three. Like that. And now for my red, I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I'm just gonna fold my paper like this. a reference for me to make a smaller heart so what I'm gonna do is just put this over here and I'm gonna consider that it has to be smaller so this is the full size heart and what I'm gonna do is just follow the path of do making a smaller heart over here like that and I can just cut this down So it's going to look pretty much like this. Now I'm going to do the same thing with these other two that I need. So let's just copy them. So once we have our six hearts cut down, now we're gonna see where we wanna put, locate them on my card. I already put them right in the middle, so I think they would look nice. But here I'm just gonna make a pencil reference going up like this. Another one right, right over here. And another one right over here. Once I have these marks, I can just take these out for a little bit. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect like a branch, a tree branch. I already have this part and I'm just going to start fixing some branches, putting some branches like if it would be a tree.
branches over here as you can see now it's time to put some flowers onto our tree um, as I said I don't have pinks so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix red and white I like this technique especially because I can practically create my own pink and I can do different shades of pink so if you can do this it's really fun so I invite you to try doing it if you have your pinks it's okay but it would really be nice so you can have different shades so I'm gonna mix over here We already have our tree that has cherry blossoms. Now let's put some hearts into our nice Mother's Day card. We're gonna begin just putting, like we have this part folded, right? So what we're gonna do is just put a little bit of glue on that, just a little bit. Don't put too, too much on it, like that. start drawing out what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab one of them like this and I wanna see let's pretend let's make an illusion that it's been tied up too like that so we can do a little ribbon here but they would have tied little hearts. Thank you. 
students, this is our project for Mother's Day. I hope you enjoyed working on this technique. I really had fun. I wish I could have done this in person with you in class. But even though I know I can't see you guys, I know that it's the best for all. I know that everybody's healthy, everybody is okay. So that's something that brings peace and happiness to my heart. You can't imagine how much I'm missing you. I really hope that uh, time uh, goes fast and things get better and that we can see each other again. But until then, I want to tell you that I love you guys very, very much. Uh, inside the card, you can draw, you can write whatever you guys want to for your mom. And nice messages, you can put pictures inside. That depends on you. So. I wish you guys a very blessed weekend. I wish you guys a really happy Mother's Day that you celebrate with your mom. Tell her always how much you love her. Tell her how important she is for you guys because moms are really happy to hear that their kids are doing fine and that they're happy. Until next class, guys, hugs and kisses for everybody. See you then.